Hey everybody, it's your friend Adam from GolfUnfiltered.com here. I don't do a lot of these equipment review videos. You can go out to GolfUnfiltered.com, of course, and read our written reviews. And of course, you can listen to our Golf Unfiltered uh, podcast, where we have a lot of brands on that talk about new products, new services, all in the golf space. But today I wanted to talk a little bit about a new product from Srixon that really requires you to take a look at it. Uh, and words just can't convey. And so today I'm going to talk, of course, about the new Q Star Tour Divide. And so you've already seen a review on this on the website. And if you haven't yet, go out to golfunfiltered.com and do so. The big thing about, or the big story about the Srixon uh, Q Star Tour Divide is, of course, the the paint color. It's two tone, and you're going to see an up close picture of this here in a moment. That's the first thing that you're going to see literally out of the box, but there is so much more about the Q-Star Tour Divide that uh, I want to talk to you a little bit today about. So uh, I'm just going to go right off of the box here. And again, these are all, you know available now. Uh, they are available in a dozen, much like all golf balls are from Srixon and anywhere else. Now, the Q-Star Tour, if you've tried these in the past, I mean, they're they're really affordable. They're under $30 for a dozen golf balls. And a lot of the same technology or similar technology, I should say, are in uh, this update, of course, outside of the two-tone paint color. And so some of the features of the Q-Star Tour that you're really going to enjoy, you know, it has a urethane cover for maximum greenside spin. That's something that we see in a lot of golf balls. That's a, that's a new cover. Uh, and I guess it's not new anymore, but it's a new ish cover that a lot of golf balls implore because you can really get a lot of great feel, uh, with the urethane cover, uh, fast layer core for powerful distance. That's something that I know a lot of people are looking for, of course, and the Q star tour in past iterations have really performed very well in the, uh, the distance category. Uh, it's got a three piece construction just right off the bat. It's got a 338 speed dimple pattern is what Srixon is uh, calling the pattern. And again, that just helps with aerodynamics as well as lift, launch, all that great stuff that you're going to be able to combine with a well-fitted driver or iron set or wedges, of course. Uh, and then we get to the two-tone color contrast. So what's the point of the two colors? According to Srixon, and I've seen this in my testing of it as well, because I've had the chance to take these out for a little bit. I've uh, admittedly have not used these on the course just yet, because I mean, let's face it, it's going to take a little getting used to uh, seeing two colors on a golf ball like this. And, you know, I've already heard that these appear to be similar to a fishing bobber. And that's not a criticism. I like to fish. Uh, but that's probably something that some people might immediately see. Now, the benefit of having that actually is very similar to a fishing bobber in that it helps visualize what's happening with the object. And in this case, of course, the golf ball. So right off the bat, you know that you're going to be able to see a lot more action on this golf ball, like literally see it. You're going to be able to see the spin as you uh, watch your golf ball leave the face of a wedge. You're going to be a also able to align putts a little bit better. Now, I'm somebody that has experimented with drawing a line on my golf balls many times uh, while putting. Uh, I have some success with it. Other times I might go away from it for about a month or so because Quite frankly, if you don't have that thing lined up exactly where you want and then you line up or, or you address the putt, sometimes you feel a little bit of a difference in your feet. And some of you might understand what I'm talking about there. This doesn't necessarily change that dynamic, but it definitely gives you a more visually uh, stark contrast against a putting green. You hit a putt. If you hit it off center, for example, you're going to see this, the colors wobble. So that should give you immediate feedback to let you know you probably didn't hit the center of your putter face and perhaps there's an adjustment that you would need. So the same can be said when you're practicing around the green with chips or even pitches, especially with chips, you can see how much spin you are imparting on the golf ball. Now that's actually something that I have not uh, experienced before, even while practicing. You know, certainly you can tell when something, when a golf ball hits the green checks a little bit, maybe slows down and goes into a pure roll a little bit quicker. But now you can actually see the spin. You could see the spin difference between perhaps a pitching wedge shot or a, a sand wedge or a lob wedge. You can actually see, I know I keep saying that, what is happening. And so what information or what that information does for you, it gives you 
the ability to adjust depending on what shot you want to hit. So just as a, another quick recap, the Srixon Q-Star Tour Divide, it's got a lot of great stuff under the hood, so to speak, where it's going to help you with distance. It's going to, it's got a great feel to it. And even just touching it, it feels a little bit softer, which visitors to my website know that's pretty much the, the feel that I prefer. Uh, and it's got, you know, the aerodynamic uh, 338 dimple pattern to help you with launch conditions, that penetrating ball flight that I know a lot of people enjoy too. Plus, albeit the unique two-tone paint coloring, uh, it's very specifically done for a very specific reason. Now, my personal take on this, I think these are really great if you're going to go out to the practice green. Like I said before, I've not had the chance to hit these on the course. I hope to soon. And I'll be sure to uh, share that feedback on social media, which you can follow me at Golf Unfiltered on Twitter, Instagram, and pretty much everywhere else. And be sure to go out to golfunfiltered.com to learn a little bit more. Thanks for watching.